This video is brought to you by Fixio PC Cleaner, the butterscotch recommended software to fix Windows errors and improve PC performance. Visit fixio.com slash butterscotch for your free PC scan now. Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com series on setting up dual monitors for your PC. In this final segment, we're just going to take a brief look at some of your options and some tips that I've gained over the years from using dual monitors. You note that when we showed you the displays here, you can move them back and forth. Well, you can also move them up. I have seen people who have put a shelf above and put a monitor above this lower one. That can be okay depending on what you use the second monitor for because it puts your neck in a bad position uh, ergonomically. But you can do it, and I just wanted you to know that you can you move these things around. Another thing I wanted to point out is that when you have two displays, and we'll say these are two 22-inch monitors, and you see the lines here, I have them right next to each other. Well, the problem with this is that if I'm sitting here and looking at this monitor as my primary monitor, number one, when I look at this one, I'm really having to stretch my neck into a bad position, and you're also likely to get a fair amount of glare along the surface of this monitor. It's going to be harder to see text and other things that are displayed on this monitor. So one way to solve that and get more effective use out of your dual monitors is to have your primary monitor straight and facing you so that you're facing it from here and to have your second one at an angle. I found that about 25, 30 degrees works well. And what it does is I can glance over at this monitor now and see all the things that are on there, the text, on documents, and so on, and it's easy to read. And it just a slight turn of my head puts me back in a direct line with this first monitor. So something to keep in mind when you're doing dual monitors is that you want to position them so that when you're sitting and working that it's comfortable for you. Another thing to keep in mind is what you use the second monitor for. Personally, I use the primary monitor for the things I'm working on now, such as this tutorial. And over on my other, the one I have on the left, I have my show notes. I have a web browser that's showing me some news I was reading. I have some auxiliary things that are going on. So, for example, if I'm going to download four or five files, I move those over to the left monitor so that they aren't in my view and I can focus on the email, text document, tutorial, or whatever it is I'm working on on my primary monitor. So, those are just a few tips. In using dual monitors, you'll work out your own ways that work best for you. This concludes this five-part series. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. I'm Doc Callahan, and as I like to say, that's all there is to it. Over time, your PC can become sluggish due to the accumulation of errors, corrupted files, and system clutter. One of the top tools available is Fixio PC Cleaner. With a few easy clicks, your PC will be automatically analyzed and scanned for potential issues that could be affecting your computer's performance. Repair annoying errors and get your PC running like new again with Fixio PC Cleaner. Visit fixio.com slash butterscotch to get your free PC scan and receive a special offer are available only to Butterscotch users.